So in today's episode of Stormworks, we're going to be checking out the Natural Disasters update. And folks, it is absolutely amazing. We're going to see volcanoes. We're going to fly into volcanoes. And we're also going to see all sorts of crazy weather and a whirlpool, which is absolutely amazing. So hit that thumbs up button for some more Stormworks and let's jump in. All right, folks, disasters. We are going to actually fly into a volcano. I'm excited for this. So this is the Omnicraft. Uh, we're going to go ahead and master on, engine on. Uh, it is starting up. There we go. Cabin lights on, nav lights on. Uh, all right. Parking brake release. I think we're ready to take off. So there's two volcanoes. Uh, there's one in the Arctic, and then you have the one over here at the Sawyer Islands. Uh, we're going to go check this one out. And uh, yeah, we're going to create an eruption here. So we'll go through quite a few of the natural disasters today. We probably won't cover all of them. If you guys have any survival scenarios you want to see, comment down below. Uh, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. I'm thinking cruise ship versus whirlpool. I feel like that'd be a really unique sinking survival. Also, real quick, here is the new custom menu. You can see spawn tsunami, which the tsunamis are different now. Uh, you got the spawn whirlpool, tornado, uh, meteorite, and there's the volcanic eruption. And of course, you still have the megalodon. Uh, nothing's changed with the meg. Uh, but yeah, where is the volcano on this island? I think it might be on the... Wait a minute. Do I see smoke? There's smoke coming up from the island already. I have not clicked anything. Well, at least we know where the volcano is. Yo, that is insane looking. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's definitely maybe pre-eruption. I want to fly over it before we actually click the button. I'm actually kind of curious if it's going to do it itself. Uh, it looks pretty active, so I'm wondering if it actually goes through different stages. Uh, this would be kind of concerning, though, if I saw this. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, here it is. You can see that it looks like it's already erupted. Like, you can see where the magma or the, the lava actually was going down the volcano here, and it's apparently hardened already? I'm actually kind of confused. Uh, hold on, let's fly over it real quick. Oh, you know we're going to fly into this thing. Oh, that's cool looking. So, how dumb on a scale of 1 to 10 is it to fly into an active volcano? Uh, I'm going to say it's probably a 20. Uh, you guys should comment below. But, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see what this is going to be like. I will also want to experience this on the ground, too. Uh, but first, here we go. Boom. Okay. Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, you can hear it. We got a low grumble. Oh, it's shaking. Uh, that's a thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, did you see the shock wave? That is insane looking. Uh, okay, this is really vibrating me. Uh oh, there it goes. The lava's starting to go down. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's shooting out rocks. Okay, we want to avoid those. That would be so cool if that we actually got hit by one. I kind of want to fly towards one. <laughs> Dude, look at those. Okay, so they're falling. Oh, they're actually exploding when they hit the ground. All right. Not going to lie. This was a little bit more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there's the ash. Uh, it's definitely uh, clouding up here. So, oh, okay. It's still shooting out uh, big flaming balls. <laughs> We want to avoid those. How far are those going? Oh, man, they're way up in the sky. That is intense. That is actually really, really impressive. Okay, you know what? Let's go down. We've got to fly into it if we don't get hit before we get there. So is that solid in there or how does this work? I would hope not. Here we go. Uh, we are flying into an active volcano. Oh, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to land into it. Oh! Oh, the explosions! Oh, okay. Oh, we are on fire. Oh, uh, are we sinking? Okay, this kind of looks like solid lava, but oh, we're definitely dying. Yep, we died. Well, hold on. Let's respawn. So, how far are we away? Uh, hold on. I'm assuming we're maybe at the airfield? Oh, that is cool. There it is. Could you imagine just going about your day, uh, just doing your normal Stormworks thing? Uh, you hear the eruption? Like, what is the eruption like from over here? Can you hear it? Obviously, the ash has traveled all the way over here. But I saw from some screenshots in some of the, the little movies they showed, like an actual cloud 
comes flying through. That is intense looking. Uh, let's get up close. Man. All right. That's cool. That is really cool. Uh, also, I might have just spawned through the map. It's fine. Do we have any secrets? Is there a secret monster under here? Uh, already under here looking for secrets. I don't think there is. Oh, I died. Uh, apparently, I hit something. Oh, this is a nice spawn. I spawned up in the clouds. I didn't know heaven was one of the uh, like the little spawn points. All right, let's... Oh, no, nope, I'm going to try to jump up here. I want to see this happen from maybe over here. So if I click it again, does it clear it up? Like, how does this clear up? Like, I wonder how long it takes. Yeah, I don't want to see it erupt again. Like, I want it to be clear here. Hold on, let me just try clicking it. What if you spammed it? Would that be a bad idea? Will you erupt again? Uh... I don't know if it's happening or not again. There's a chance we want to reset this. All right, so I have uh, reset everything. I want to see the eruption from about right here. So the airfield is over there. Uh, I don't know, is there any villages that are like right on top of that area? No, I don't believe so. The wind turbine island's pretty close to the volcano, uh, but there's nothing like right below it. All right, let's do this again. Let's watch from over here. So, boom. Uh, also, I heard there are sirens in the game now. I don't know if you have to be in the right area for them, maybe the towns, uh, but they do uh, actually activate for certain events. Okay, we still don't have anything yet. Uh, is it actually going? Hold on, let's stand over here. This might be a little too close for comfort. Uh, okay, let's see if it activates. I don't know, for some reason, it actually isn't going now. Oh, there it is. Okay, I can hear the grumbling now. Okay, so this is pretty close. Uh, there's a chance we get hit by a flaming rock. Uh, okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, that is intense. So there's the shock wave. So how does the cloud get down here? Or does it just start to get hazy? Oh, man. It's almost hard to look at, <laughs> but yeah, there it is. There's explosions. Where's the ash at? We're waiting for it. Might take a little bit for it to actually get down here. Uh, that's intense. You know, somebody should totally make like some sort of super villain layer. Uh, I feel like that would be really, really cool. And some of those rocks are going really far. And all right, here comes the ash. So it doesn't quite look like a, a big, like sweeping cloud comes through. Uh, like a couple of the shots. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What the? Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, a cloud does come through. Uh, I didn't see it, but we were definitely too close. Oh, this is at the island. Oh, it's still shaking over here, huh? What's it look like? Okay, I don't think that cloud comes this far. That's cool. That is really cool. All right, well. I'm pretty satisfied with those. Uh, let's move on to the next disaster. All right, so for our next disaster, I'm back at the airfield. Oh, there's the siren on. Can we just turn it on for funsies? Is that something we're able to activate? Like, uh, okay, no, it's obviously already powered on. I want to hear it activate. Uh, let's try maybe another disaster. Uh, let's go with the tornado. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. Evacuate civilians. Uh, wait, what? Evacuate what civilians? Is the tornado going somewhere else? I I'm actually curious as to how these work. Look at the clouds. Oh, they're definitely start starting to swirl. Um, <laughs> okay. Is there a place we want to go for cover? Like tornado survival could totally be a thing, like a bunker or something. Uh, I'll be curious as to how those work. Also, I'm also curious if you can use uh, natural disasters and missions, which I wouldn't see why you couldn't. But could you spawn in 100 tornadoes? Okay, the clouds are swirling. We don't have a tornado yet. Now, I know it says there's a hurricane, and then there's the potential for a tornado to form from it. I don't know if it's guaranteed. You would think if you click the button that it is guaranteed, but... This doesn't look terrible. It's just kind of like a little bit of a, a swirling cloud. It, like, it doesn't really even look like a wall cloud. Uh, it's not really big at all. I wonder if I cranked up the rain and wind with it, what happens? Oh, it kind of looks like it's moving a little bit faster. Hold on, let's back up. I love the touch 
Oh, uh, with the sirens. Uh, that is cool. Uh, I didn't even know they were going to add that. Uh, still no tornado. I mean, it looks cool. Also, you can see the wind uh, is actually blowing a lot of the smoke from the volcano over. Uh, that's a nice touch. Okay, nothing is formed yet. It's definitely, like, I kind of feel like it stalled out. Uh, if you come up here, this looks cool. Like, if you're in those weather planes and you can fly over this, uh, that'd be pretty epic. I know they can go over uh, water, too, so it'd be like a water spout. Um, I don't wonder if we should maybe respawn it again. I don't know. Let's go out maybe over here, uh, maybe by one of the bridges. I'm kind of still keeping an eye on this, but I don't see a tornado. It might just be one of those things that takes a while. Honestly, we still have two swirling sets of clouds. There's one still over there, and the new one is on top of us. What happens if I spam that button? Is that a bad? It's going to look like the apocalypse out here. There's a chance I just broke the button because I clicked it about 20 times. Um, okay, well, we still don't have a tornado here. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and spawn in one of those new tsunamis. Oh, uh, wait, cancel tsunami. I haven't spawned in a tornado. Wait, what? Did I accidentally click the tsunami button? Uh, well, you're about to get to see the new tsunami. I was hoping to be in a boat for this. Uh, hold on, we have a chance. Uh, where's the village? Uh, there's a fishing village around here somewhere. It's Han. Uh, that's not good. There's going to be a tsunami coming. Oh, wow. That is really picking up speed. Uh, that is aggressive looking. Oh, where's the tsunami? Oh, look at this. So there's like a single wave that's formed here. Is that the actual tsunami or what is that? Maybe it's just how aggressive the waves are now. It said I had a tsunami spawned in. Well, it might not be a tornado, but it's probably one of the scariest clouds I've ever seen. Uh, that is intense. I'm going to let it set for a little while longer and... Uh, Maybe something will pop up out of this. I need to go find a spawn point where I can spawn a boat. By the way, if this is the new tsunami, like this looks cool. It's not like perfect anymore. Like it bubbles up in certain spots and it's just a lot thicker looking. Uh, it does look like it's actually gaining strength though as it heads towards the island. Uh, I'm still looking for that spawn. Uh, I think it's, is there one over here? Wait, what is this? Oh, is this the enemy guns? Wait, I might still have the weapons DLC uh, in right now. Well, honestly, this just looks like the end of times right now. You have the swirling clouds, which still haven't produced a tornado yet. And then you have this the tsunami that it definitely looks better. Like, it no longer looks like that perfect wave heading towards you. Oh. Oh, it's getting tall. But look, it's got like little mini breaks in it. That's cool. All right, well, if I can get... Oh, okay, we're going with it. If I can get the tornado to actually spawn in, uh, we'll go ahead and move over to the boat. Uh, I think that'd be cool. By the way, look at this. So it's a radial tsunami. So there is a leading edge to it. So you can see how the tsunami is bowed out. It used to be like a perfect, which I think I can demonstrate, or at least show you guys this a little bit better if we override everything here. So you see how it's actually bowed out? It's like a big, well, I wouldn't even say a U. It's not that aggressive. That's cool looking. So there's like a leading edge to the tsunami now. I like that. I like that a whole lot. Okay, well, there might still be a uh, tsunami on the way. I went over to the other side of the island to the fishing village to spawn in a, uh, a craft. The sirens aren't going off. So actually, which way would it be coming from? I'm not even sure. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a boat here real quick. So yeah, we're definitely not going to get to cover everything here. Uh, we got this little boat. I do think we're going to do a big ship survival here uh, really soon, uh, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up real quick, and let's get moving. Okay, here we go. We are moving in our boat. All right, so we got some other things to test. We can, of course, test the meteorites. Uh, that's a thing. Hold on. Let's go ahead and cancel this tornado. Let's let the uh, tsunami run through, uh, even though I don't see a tsunami. And then uh, maybe we'll try the whirlpool real quick. I know a lot of people are excited about that one. Uh, so by the way, if you look over towards the volcano, you can still see the clouds over there swirling. So that's still definitely an event going on over there. Okay, so let's increase the wind. Let's see what some of these waves look like. Uh, maybe we'll get a rogue wave. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so I think we would have passed through the tsunami. The waves are coming this way. So it would have started on this side of the island. Uh, so that's a bit of a thing. But yeah, I can imagine once you get to the really deep waters, no telling what you're going to see. All 
right, so I think we want to do maybe the Whirlpool now. So let's go to the custom menu. Let's go spawn Whirlpool. Uh, okay, the sirens are going off for this one. Where does it spawn? I want to see if the water starts to shift direction. Uh, do I see anything? Man, a whirlpool would be frightening. But here's the question. Wait a minute. There's a potential it's formed ahead of us. Huh? I'm going to try to look. Oh, that is it right there. So I believe these things vary in size. Uh, this one doesn't look that big. But you know what? We're going to head right for it. Uh, let's go full speed here. There we go. Oh, wait, what the heck? Uh, okay, I just darted back that way. That could have been just me. Uh, it slowed down a little bit. All right, let's turn back this way. All right, let's go throttle mode up. Uh, oh, man, we're taking on some water here, but I don't think this is enough. Oh, there's another boat out there. Oh, I really hope it gets caught in the whirlpool, too. Wait, it might be getting sucked in. Uh, yeah, that's definitely in the direction. Oh, it is. Oh, it's getting bigger. Okay. So they start off small and they get big. Yeah, there's totally an AI boat getting sucked into it also. <laughs> uh, are we going to have a race to see who gets sucked up first? So do these do damage to you? That's a good question. Uh, also, how are the sirens this loud out here? Here's one on the lighthouse island. Oh, that other boat is struggling. Oh, okay. I'm trying to turn against this. Oh, that is not a thing. Oh, oh okay. Uh, hold on. Power out of it. Throttle mode forward. Oh, I've got it at max throttle. Oh, 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 oh. oh we got to do this out in, in the deep sea. Uh, okay. Does this shoot us under? Or Oh, it does. Oh, what the? Uh, it just exploded against the bottom of the ocean so depending on how deep the ocean is i wonder how far it can drag you down that's frightening like there's a potential this thing could take you all the way down to the bottom of the ocean in the really deep parts uh has that ai boat it's fighting right now it might not get caught in it this is so cool natural disasters folks <laughs> this gives you some extra things to do in uh stormworks uh, but yeah, we're definitely going to do uh, more episodes, maybe look into uh, maybe the meteorites, uh, maybe a tornado survival shelter thing. And uh, I definitely want to do a sinking survival with one of these and maybe some of the new tsunamis uh, just to test what those are like. Dude, that boat is totally fine out there. He is trucking away right now. You can see he's like listing and probably getting slowly pulled in. But yeah, we definitely died there. <laughs> So I thought it'd be a good idea to like get out in it real quick. It is so hard to swim against the whirlpool. That's pretty insane. It's like keeping me down. Yeah, I can't go up at all. Uh, I might be able to get to the center here, but uh, nope, I can't. That's insane. That's so good. Okay, I'm rather impressed. I really wanted to see a tornado. Uh, we unfortunately didn't get to see that yet. Meteorites, that'll be a thing here in the future too. I don't know. Can I just spawn in everything? This might actually confuse the game, but you know what? There we go. Boom. Volcano. Uh, it's all happening. Megalodons are happening. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, the wind's twirling. <laughs> I'm not even really sure what's happening right now. Uh, supposedly, there's a meteorite on the way. Uh, there might be a thing that you're not allowed to spawn in everything at once and recreate the apocalypse. Uh, I'll have to look into that, but... Overall, rather impressed. This update is out now. Go check it out. Uh, comment down below with survival suggestions, and we'll see you guys next time.